she is running happy but look at this madness folks it's 7 a.m on thanksgiving day and the parking lot is just dirty full of boats already i mean it's just i don't know if you come 8 a.m today where you're gonna park it's just dirty full of boats thanksgiving this is where people prefer to spend it when the weather is nice the last time the bike was super tough i've got some new rigs and lures today it will be more experimenting than anything but let's not waste any more precious time let's get into a search mode and find where the schools will be today Just checking the mouth first. Looks pretty clean to me. I think all of the fish is already upriver. I didn't even go to the slip on 87. Pretty damn sparkling clean, man. Yeah, looks pretty clean. That makes me think that the fish is way upriver today. Unbelievable, folks. There's nothing here. Look. I mean, this place was just... There was 25 from 20 to 35 feet. This was all fish last weekend. Just five days later. There is not a fish here. Look at this. I mean, it's just clean. The turn slip is clean. I'm surprised that, okay, these fish move upriver, but I'm surprised that new fish don't keep coming. So there is always something here. Who knows how much upriver we have to go today. But, yeah, let's keep going. Let's go to the yacht yard. Alright folks, I'm gonna do something different today, just to keep it fun for you. I can catch fish with my worms, but I mean, I don't want to make five videos with the same thing. So today I wanted to finally try a bait that I've bought, I don't know, maybe a year ago. It's a plastic goby from fanaticbaits.com. I have never tried this until today. I wanted to try them for crappie actually. They they don't look too bad they're a little bit smaller than what you think in the package I already took one of them this is what they look like I mean I have a, just a drop shot with like five grams of weight on the bottom and this is two feet off the bottom here is my hook hold on give me a second I can't focus right now folks but I'm gonna make sure I show you a good video uh, from a close-up at home on the table The plastic seems seems Good soft plastic your regular plastic. It's not anything like those fancy stretchy plastics um, But it's a good plastics. It's, it's uh, soft enough. So I think it should work so let's try to catch some fish it it does look with this nice tail it does look like it's gonna have good action so let's try to catch some fish with this all right folks here we go fishing has been tough today just just trust me on that 
I'm not kidding. It's it's hard to find schools. They're very small. I've caught maybe 10 fish on worms right now. And it's really deep here. It's like 40 feet versus like 32 at the slips. It takes forever. That's why I'm just fishing like a, with a bass fishing drop shot. Very heavy. I don't have time to... To wait my regular jigs to sink. And I don't want to put a 5 gram jig head. Oh, bite. I got a good strong bite, but I don't think he got it. Got a lot of bites, but with this drop shot, it's I feel it's difficult for the fish to swallow properly. Oh, there we go. I don't even see anything under the boat, but he bit under the boat. There we go, folks. You see the little gobby sticking out of his mouth? I mean, obviously, this is just for fun. I don't think you, you need to use gobbies to catch perch. You can use whatever you want. Uh, bite finally, bite. And a fish, wow. The first bite was a fish. All right, two for two guys. I don't see the school though. I think I need to reposition because I was really fishing blind this time. This is a... yeah, he was caught. I don't know why I didn't really get a good bite, but there's another goby fish. He... oh, wow, he ate it. I mean, he ate it all the way, folks. Hmm. Okay, it's a two-inch bait. I don't know, they eat it pretty good. Actually, the one thing I like about this goby more than my worms is if you're getting the same number of bites I prefer the goby I prefer the goby just because it's a little bit meatier bait than my worms my worms are just tiny not a lot of meat it's for shy fish but if you're getting bites with the goby you have a chance of catching you know keeper maybe even a leg trout who knows i am fishing with four pound line here not two pound line so i might have a chance with a laker with this line depends how i get him hooked <laughs> But yeah, I feel with a goby you have a better chance of catching something decent. With the worms you get good numbers, but very small. Yeah. Bite, bite, bite. Got him. All right. I mean, I gotta tell you. I gotta tell you, I don't mind fishing these gobbies at all. I don't mind. You know, I gotta tell you, my worms, I use them because sometimes the fish don't bite nothing else. But I don't like fishing tiny baits, guys. If the fish will bite bigger stuff, I prefer to fish bigger stuff, just trust me. I prefer to fish juicier baits. Problem is, sometimes, when the water is very clear and the fish is very shy, the pressure is heavy. They don't want to eat nothing big. Oh yeah. There we go.
Here we go. Wow. They eat it pretty good, folks. They eat it pretty good. There we go. Yeah, 30 feet is much better. He is not huge. But guys, I mean, this thing is gone. They swallowed them pretty good. I gotta tell you, I don't mind fishing with these gobbies, man. Here we go. I didn't see nothing, but I felt him. Wow, they don't even bite. They just swallow and go. Several in a row. They just, just hum and run with it. No nibble nibble. Here we go. Alright, well, this one is half decent, it's a 9. My jig is just destroyed though, almost a keeper. Give me a second, let me try to put a gobby on something else, folks. Folks. Let me tell you something I found already. This is difficult to put on a jig head. It's just difficult because all of the volume is in the head and then there is just tail. I put it but it doesn't look very good. I think this is strictly a drop shot bait because it looked so good on the drop shot. All right, got one on the jig head too. But I don't know it. Let's try again. I think drop shot is better. I just need to retie. I have thicker line. It won't take very long. I think I just have to retie a nicer drop shot rig. Here we go. Yeah, they will eat it on a jig head too. Looks like... But as long as they stay under the boat, I'm good. And they like the Gobi guys. I mean... I don't want to say something that you will think I'm trying to sell you, but I think I'm getting more bites on the Gobi than on my worms. I really do. There we go. Gobby! <laughs> gobby, 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 gobby. Fish swarmed it. I actually this time happened to find it. They swarmed it as it was sinking and they ate it in the air. They ate it in the air. They swarmed it came off but that's completely okay because he wasn't a keeper interesting they swarmed it and they ate it one bite load up load up he loaded up I am telling you, folks. I am telling you. There are worse things to use for first for perch fishing than this gobby here. 
folks are using nothing but gobies that day and I'm here to tell you that these things work great. Obviously you don't need gobies to catch perch because everybody is catching perch no matter what they use. But if you ever want to try a new plastic just for fun, I really recommend this one just 100%. Great action, very durable and Perch will eat it without any suspicion. I also want to say that I bought these lures with my own money after a recommendation by a subscriber and I have no association with the company whatsoever. And I will repeat one more time that you don't need gobies to catch Perch. But I just really like this lure and when I find products that I like, I will promote them for free. That's all I have for this one, thank you for watching and good luck on the water, bye bye. There we go. Finally somebody gobbled it. This one took a while but still overall, oh, this gobby, this gobby has been good to me. Ow.